Hello everybody, today I want to show you the newest feature we just launched on DevPrem. This new feature is a file uploader uh, which guides you all the way uh, from uploading files and mapping your pre-labeled data so you can upload your files or videos along bounding boxes or polygons or uh, whatever uh, spatial type you're using. Uh, so you can have your files with pre-labeled data right away. And this does not need any coding or API calls or SDKs uh, to work with. So it's a fully code-free approach to upload data. And uh, let me just show you how, how it is done. And I will guide you through the entire process. So let's click the file wizard here. Uh, you can see this is the initial screen of the file wizard. And if you want to test out with an example, you can download uh, the sample data uh, clicking on this link. It will download a zip file. And if you open it, you will see you have this test diffgram upload.json file, which has uh, all the bounding box data for the image. And then you have this Apple's uh, image. So uh, let, let's just see how the the JSON file looks like. Uh, you can see it's an array of multiple objects. So each object has uh, a number of keys. It doesn't matter which keys do you have here or which names you have. Uh, as long as you follow the wizard, uh, it will guide you uh, how to map these keys to DiffGram's standard format. So you can have all your boxes or polygons with the right uh, data and you have the images ready to go uh, with, with the bounding boxes. So let's just click upload new data here. Uh, it will ask us for the data set. So we'll just leave it for the uh, uh, with the default data set for now, but you can create a new one if you want to. Uh, let's continue here. Uh, then it's going to ask us uh, where do we want to upload our files from. So we can either upload from a cloud provider. Uh, we support uh, AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud Platform. So you can connect uh, your buckets and uh, fetch the data from your buckets directly. Or you can choose just uploading it from your computer. I'm going to use my computer for this example. And now it's asking me uh, if I want to add pre-labeled data. So here we're going to say yes, because we have this JSON file we want to attach to the image we, we are uploading, right? So let's hit yes. And now we just have to select the files we want to upload. So let's select the JSON file and let's select the Apple's image. So now we have uh, two uh, files ready to go. You see that this JSON file says that the data type is annotation, so uh, DiffGram identified that this is this has this has annotation data. So uh, on the next steps, it's going to ask me to map the JSON file to DiffGram's format. So let's hit continue, and now we're start, starting the mapping process, right? So it's going to ask me a couple questions to map the data correctly. So uh, now it's telling me to select the field corresponding to the instance type. So on this dropdown, you will see all the keys from your JSON file. Uh, so I'm selecting the type key uh, from my JSON file. So if I go back to the uh, to the JSON file, you'll see that here the type is the one that corresponds to the instance type. So that's why I'm selecting this one, right? So let's continue. Uh, the next thing that's asking me is the label name. So which is the field uh, corresponding to the label name? It's this one that says label name. And if we go back to the JSON, you will see that this label name has uh, this Apple label. So uh, we're identifying Apple objects for this example. So this is ready. Now we click next and it's asking me for the file name. So uh, the file name, it's in this key that's called my file name. So you can see this one has the apples.jpg uh, file. Uh, you can add multiple files here, and a different will handle assigning every instance to the correct file. So uh, that's done for you. And now if we click Next, uh, it's going to ask me this optional step. So uh, if you want, you can add your model's ID or model run ID so you can identify uh, which instances were created by which models inside the system. So. 
If I hit yes, it's going to ask me for the model ID in the JSON file. So I have here the model ID. And if I click next, it's going to ask me for the model run ID. So this is the run ID in the JSON file. So now I hit next. Uh, now you'll see that uh, different will parse the entire JSON file and it will notice that it detected uh, box instances. So now it's asking me to map these spatial values to the bounding box. So I'm just selecting uh, here which fields correspond to each of the coordinates. So in this case, the X min corresponds to the lower X on the JSON file. The X max corresponds to the upper X. The Y min corresponds to the lower Y on the JSON file. And finally, the upper Y corresponds to Y max. So uh, different will validate each of the values so it, it contains like uh, numbers and any other data validations right away so uh, you can rest assured that the JSON file is it's going uh, with the right format and data types so now that we have ready uh, the bounding box mapping we can just hit continue and now it's showing me this uh, confirm screen right so uh, it's telling me that I'm about to upload one file into the data set. It has six boxes uh, and the labels that I'm adding is the Apple label. So let's just hit upload to Diffram. And now the file was successfully uploaded. And if we close here, uh, we can just refresh and now we see the file ID. So this is the Apple's JPG we uploaded. And if we go to the uh, file detail on the annotation tool you will see we have the apples and we have this uh, bounding boxes here that are the ones we specified on the JSON file so you can see this is a completely code free process and it's super easy now to add uh, pre-existing labels and instances into your files and videos so uh, let us know if you like this feature let us know if you have any feedback on it and I hope you really liked it and I hope you have a great day Bye for now.